So we just got an announcement that Neil Magny is going to take on Michael Chiesa. First off, I don't know that Chiesa has ever looked better than as of late. Second off, good news for Chiesa because Magny's a straight up gangster. Magny, who gets no credit from anybody, has done everything right. He just tied some record that's only held by George St. Pierre. I can't even think off the top of my head. He just tied a record within that division that's held by George St. Pierre. He's won some insane amount of fights. Oh, and by the way, he's the real deal, and he's the only 70-pounder that legitimately stepped up to Chimaev when Chimaev was available. You guys will remember when nobody would fight Chimaev, and all of a sudden Chimaev signs to fight Leon. And then, like, four guys call out Shamaya, but it was all BS, right? I mean, just just happened to work out. They called the guy out when they couldn't. Do you guys remember this crap? We see it all the time. Fake tough guys. Shamaya becomes available. Something happens with Leon, and only one guy stepped in. And not only did he step in, say, I would do the fight, he began to campaign and lobby for the fight. Lobbying for a fight is totally different than raising your hand. You get credit either way, but one guy's a tough guy and one guy's a gangster. Period. Magni is the latter. Now, I bring that to you because Magni didn't get the fight, which broke my heart. I thought, well, he should get the fight. I mean, this is how this business works. If a fight gets disrupted, you keep one half of the fight and you find the next best thing. And that's exactly what had happened there. He didn't get the fight. They wanted to preserve Leon. So they just took that whole package, which is a rare thing to do, but they did took that whole package and they're going to move it to another date. Okay, great. But what happens to Magni? Magni, history says something good happens to Magni. You step in to do a favor, you get a favor. I don't think that Chiesa is that, but a placement on the card certainly is. This is going to be a feature match, and it's a very meaningful match because Chiesa is all of a sudden a man of multiple tricks. Like, Chiesa had a moment in his career where he was Joe Wrestler and nothing else, and then all of a sudden he has, like, three fights where he's Joe Kickboxer. And then all of a sudden, I mean, go back to the Carlos Condit fight. Oh, he's Joe Jiu-Jitsu. Like, you don't know what Chiesa's going to do. Kiesa is a very rough customer who understands the sport very well. He's very durable, and he's not afraid to compete. And if you ever speak to Michael Kiesa, I mean, like Michael Kiesa is one of the best guests I have ever had. And I've known Kiesa a period of time. He lives right behind me. I'm in or- Oregon. He's right across the bridge in Washington. We're neighbors, workout partners, friends. But even with that said, I didn't know how intelligent he was as it pertained to the sport until he was a guest on the program. And I had one of the most fun times. It was, it was right before Connor was going to fight Floyd. And the whole world was down on that fight, myself included. Connor has no chance. Connor's out of there in three minutes. Nothing to see here. Cash grab, waste of time. Yes, it changed everything. Yes, it's like, whoa, 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 jail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He said, first off, you've got to understand how a promoter looks at this. Promoter's looking at this on what if? What if Connor catches him? What if? Connor knocks him out. What if Connor is too big? What if the whole Southpaw business that Zab Judah gave Floyd problems with? Connor gives Floyd problems. Changed my mind completely. Not only did he change my mind, my mother heard the show, made me fly her to Vegas, and my, made me buy her a, a ticket, which was $1,800. I mean, not for nothing. Yes, it cost me a few bucks, but he cost me a few bucks because he was so intriguing. And he goes down as one of the best guests I ever had. How does that play into this fight? What plays into the fight? Plays into the fight because Neil Magny isn't just a tough guy. Neil Magny's strategic. He's one of the few guys ever that understands range. You always hear about range. Well, this guy's got a reach advantage. Who gives a damn? Nobody knows how to use it. John Jones knows how to use reach. And then you got to go back all the way to Tommy the Hitman Hearns. Well, except for Magny. Magni actually understands. He understands how to do a teep. He understands when to kick the head. He understands when he's at a distance. He can put a hand down to give extra power because the opponent can't return. Magni's very smart and he's getting better. And he's already tied a record. I should be able to quote it for you right now. He can already he already tied a record of the great to have ever done it in George St. Pierre. Big fight, big opportunity. I love the booking. 2021 is looking nothing but promising right now. 